The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by since 1992, Good Samaritan has been serving Roanoke and the New River Valley, and today they're looking for people who are willing to volunteer to serve others. Tony Nix, their Director of Volunteer Services, is here with more. Thanks for joining us, Tony. Thank you for having me. So why are volunteers so important to Good Samaritan? Well, uh, literally, we couldn't do what we do without volunteers. Um, both in the sense that we are required by Medicare, Medicaid, who um, greatly um, are, are the most significant funding source that we have. We're required that 5% of, of our patient care services are provided by volunteers. That's for all hospices. Uh, so literally without that, we could not stay in business uh, as it were. Uh, but we also, uh, volunteers offer support that our, our paid staff don't always have the luxury of, of time or, or energy even uh, to, to give to offering services to, to our patients. Uh, things like offering companionship, caregiver relief. Um, volunteers also help in uh, helping paid staff to do things uh, that uh, free them up to do other things that, um, that they're more uh, specifically trained and qualified to do, uh, like administrative work, uh, clerical kinds of work. So volunteers are extremely important to the work of Good Sam. I, you took the question right out of me. That's what I was going to ask, the different types of volunteering that, you know, people at home watching this that they could expect to be able to do. Yeah, we basically have three levels of volunteers. Uh, patient care volunteers are is the most intensive level. Those are volunteers who go in and spend time directly with patients, either providing companionship, uh, spending time with them playing games, just sitting watching TV, having conversation, um, just sitting with them and being present while they sleep or rest, um, uh, just being a presence. Uh, then we also, they also provide caregiver relief, as I mentioned, where they sit with the patient, allowing caregivers who are oftentimes stressed to the max, uh, opportunities to go run errands, go to uh, appointments of their own, or just go to another place in the house to lay down and take a, a much needed nap. Uh, then we also have administrative volunteers who help here in the office. Uh, we have offices both here in Roanoke, um, Valley, and we have an office in Christiansburg in the New River Valley. So those volunteers um, offer a great deal of support to our administrative staff. And then we utilize special project volunteers to help with fundraising events. We have a, a group of, of all ladies right now who come in twice a month and they make blankets uh, that we give to our veteran patients, those who have served in the military. Um, we, we give them a blanket and a certificate of appreciation. And so those volunteers help us uh, support that, um, that program of our organization. Wow. Well, you guys have a lot going on and it's just so important what those volunteers do, as you said. For more information on how you can volunteer, check out goodsam.care.